Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo ang Geometric Series. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo yung Geometric Series. So meron na akong previous video about Geometric sequence, so kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, is ililink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So just like sa arithmetic series, itong geometric series, siya rin yung counterpart nung sum ng mga geometric sequence natin. Okay? So pag sinabing geometric series, it is the indicated sum of n terms of geometric sequence. Okay? So kung meron tayong geometric sequence, i-add lang natin yung mga terms nun, then magkakaroon na tayo ng geometric series. Okay, so ito yung mga example. Geometric sequence na 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So, geometric sequence sila kasi meron silang common ratio, right? Which is 2, 2, 2, 2. So, laging 2. And then, kapag hinanap natin yung geometric series, i-add lang natin yung bawat terms itong geometric sequence. So, kaya 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na Finite Geometric Series Kasi meron tayong katapusan Right? Next, meron din tayong Okay, sorry Geometric pala dapat to Hindi na arithmetic Okay So meron tayong another example ng geometric sequence Na 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 16 Comma, dot, 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 and so on So mag-extend siya infinitely And then yung counterpart nga na geometric series Is i-add lang natin yung mga terms na to So we have 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 over 16 plus dot 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 and so on. So dahil nga meron tayong dot 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 or nag-extend yung sequence natin infinitely, ito yung natawag natin na infinite geometric series. So walang katapusan. So mamaya meron tayong formula doon for infinite geometric series. Okay? So ngayon, tumako na tayo sa formula natin for the sum of first n terms of geometric series. So ito yung finite o merong katapusan. So, meron tayong value ng n. So, ang formula natin is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times quantity 1 minus R raised to n over 1 minus R. Where S sub n is equal to sum of n terms, A sub 1 is equal to the first term, n is equal to the number of terms, and R is the common ratio. Okay, so tatandaan lang natin itong formula na ito whenever we want to find the first n terms of a geometric series. Okay? And then, sabi ko nga, meron tayong ginatawag na infinite. So, kasi kapag meron tayong infinite, meron tayong ellipsis sa dulo. Yung hindi nagtatapos yung sequence, right? So, pwede natin mahanap yung sum nun, kahit infinite siya. Meron lang tayong formula na S sub n is equal to A sub 1 over 1 minus R. Pero, take note na dapat yung R natin is in between negative 1 or 1. So, hindi siya pwedeng lumagpas dito sa range na to. Kasi kapag nangyari yon wala tayong valid doon sa infinite geometric series. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung formula for geometric series, ay eh mag-solve tayo ng examples. For the first one, we have, find the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence, 3 comma negative 6 comma 12 comma negative 24 comma dot dot dot. Okay, so this time, hanapin daw natin yung first 10 terms nung sequence. Sa so check nga natin kung geometric sequence nga ba siya. So, divide natin yung negative 6 by 3, we have negative 2. 12 by negative 6, we have negative 2 then. Negative 24 by 12, we have negative 2 then. So, therefore, this is a geometric sequence with common ratio of negative 2. So, yung formula natin para mahanap yung sum nung first 10 terms ito is... S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to n over 1 minus R, right? Yung formula kanina sa taas. So, plug in lang natin yung mga value. So, yung A sub 1 or yung first term is 3 times 1 minus R. Yung common ratio is negative 2, right? Then, n, n natin is 10 kasi pinapahanap yung sum of first 10 terms over 1 minus R na negative 2. So, kahit gumamit na lang tayo ng calculator dito, ang masasabi nating value using calculator is what? Negative 1,023. So, therefore, the sum of the first 10 terms of the series is negative 1,023. Okay? 
Next, we have find the sum of the first six terms of a geometric sequence with first term 40 and common ratio 1 half. Okay, so formula is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to n over 1 minus R. So, yung A sub 1 natin is first term na 40. Then, 1 minus common ratio daw is R na 1 half raised to so, pinapahanap yung first 6 terms. So, n natin is 6. So, 1 half raised to 6 over 1 minus r na 1 half. So, we have 40 times 1 minus 1 half raised to 6 is 1 over 64, right? Over 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. So, using calculator, ang value ng first 6 terms natin is 315 over 4. Okay. Next, we have find the sum of a geometric sequence whose first term is 3, whose last term is 46,875, and whose common ratio is 5. Okay, so yung given natin is A sub 1, which is 3, tapos yung last term or A sub n yun, di ba? 46,875, and whose common ratio or R is 5. So, wala tayong given na n, right? Pero sa formula natin kanina, dapat meron, right? Kasi S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to n over 1 minus R. So, meron lang tayong A sub 1, tsaka R. Pero wala tayong n. Pero instead na n yung given, meron tayong last term, A sub n na 46,975. So, hindi ko napakita kanina, pero meron tayong alternative formula dito for sum of n terms of geometric series given the last term. So, ito siya. S sub n is equal to A sub 1 minus R times A sub n over 1 minus R. Okay, so, plug in na lang natin. So, A sub 1 is 3 minus R is 5 times A sub n is 46,875 divided by 1 minus R na 5. So, ilan to? 3 minus, ano yung 5 times 46,875? 2, 3, 4, 3, 7, 5, right? Over negative 4. So, using calculator, anong final value natin dito? Positive 58593. Okay, so therefore, the sum of the geometric series is 58,593. Okay? Next, we have, find the sum of the first 12 terms of a geometric sequence whose 4th term is 2 and 9th term is 64. Okay, so yung given natin is A sub 4 or yung 4th term which is 2 daw and then yung 9th term or A sub 9 which is 64. So, wala tayong A sub 1 tsaka R, right? Which is kailangan natin dun sa formula for S sub N ng ating geometric series. So, hanapin muna natin yung A sub 1 tsaka R. So, gawa tayong equation. So, yung A sub 4, we have 2 is equal to yung general formula natin for A sub N ng geometric sequences. A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1, right? So, apply natin yung dito. Equal to A sub 1 times R raised to N bali is 4 kasi A sub 4. So, 4 minus 1. So, therefore, we have 2 is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to 3. Equation 1. Then, it turns sa A sub 9. So, 64 is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to N bali is 9. So, 9 minus 1. Or, 64 is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to 8. Equation 2. So, divide na lang natin na itong equation 2 by equation 1. So, 2 equals A sub 1 R cube. Itabi ko dito sa equation. 2. Then, divide natin. So, 64 divided by 2 is 32. Equal. So, cancel dito sa right si A sub 1. Matitira is R to the 8 divided by R cube. So, parang R raised to 8 minus 3 or R to the 5th. Okay? So, to solve for R, hanapin natin yung 5th root ng both sides. So, sa right, R na lang. Then, ano yung 5th root ng 32? Obviously, 2. So, therefore, meron na tayong R na 2. Hanapin naman natin yung A sub 1. Let's say dito lang sa equation 1. So, 2 is equal to A sub 1 times R. Yung nakuha natin na 2. 
raised to the third power. So, 2 is equal to a sub 1 times 2 cube or 8. Dividing both sides by 8, we have a sub 1 is equal to 2 over 8 or 1 fourth. Okay, so therefore, meron na tayong a sub 1 tsaka r. Pwede na natin gamitin yung formula for sum of n terms of geometric series na a sub 1 times 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r. So, a sub 1 is 1 fourth, right? 1 minus r is 2. Raise 2, so pinapahanap is first 12 terms. So, n is 12 over 1 minus r na 2. So, using calculator, ang masasolve natin value dito is what? 4,095 over 4. Okay? Next, we have, find the sum of infinite geometric sequence 2, 3 halves, 9 over 8, 27 over 32, dot, 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 and so on. So, hanapin daw natin yung sum ng infinite geometric sequence. So, this time, infinite geometric sequence yung hanapan natin ng sum. As shown na meron tayong ellipses or mag extend infinitely itong geometric sequence. So, ang formula natin doon is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 over 1 minus R, right? Pero check natin kung magko-converge ba yung sum ng geometric sequence natin sa isang value kapag hinanap natin yung R na dapat in between siya ng negative 1 and 1, right? Yun yung requirement. So check natin kung anong common ratio. Divide natin tong 3 halves by 2. So 3 halves divided by 2 is what? 3 fourths, right? Then 9, 8 divided by 3 halves is 3 fourths, 10, right? 27 over 32 divided by 9, 8 is 3 fourths then. So, therefore, yung common ratio or R natin is 3 fourths, which is less than 1, right? Or in between negative 1 and 1, kasi 0 0.75 yun in decimal. So, therefore, applicable itong formula natin for sum ng infinite geometric sequence na magko-converge sa isang value, kasi nga yung R natin is less than 1. So, pag ginawa natin yun, plug in natin yung value. A sub 1 is 2 over 1 minus r is 3 fourths. So, ano yung 2 over 1 minus 3 fourths? Equal to 8. So, therefore, the value of the infinite geometric sequence is 8. So, kahit i-extend natin to infinitely at i-add natin lahat ng terms niya, ang magiging sum niya is 8 lang. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video geometric series. So, practice lang kayo mag-solve ng more problems about geometric series para ma-master nyo ito. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na ito at maraming salamat sa panunood.